<laughs> Hello everybody, my name is Ron and today I'll be showing you, um, today I'll be uh, telling you what factors contribute to a star's brightness and for example, um, I'll be showing you the, how the distance right now, so the distance uh, to the brightness for example, if it's like really near you, if it's if the star is really close by you, your the sun or the uh it would be a lot more brighter than if it was more far away, S uh or it would be dimmer if it was more far away than if it was near, uh and it would also look a lot bigger when it's near, as you can see, like right here it's pretty small and so is the person and right here it's pretty close to you so um it um how's it called so it is bigger and it is uh more bright and also uh, a st uh the star's brightness also occurs from the temperature the more uh the higher the temperature is, the more um, the more th the brighter it is, the closer it is, and the higher the temperature it is. But the temperature is higher if it's uh, blue or white or yeah, if it's blue or white. So, for example, the star. This is a star, or just pretend this is a star. It is, because it, uh, it's red, it doesn't have that much temperature as blue, because blue is a lot more um, hotter than red. The, that's the color. So the color does matter, that's that by the temperature, and that's how the, um, that is how the sun's, star's brightness is um, measured, or, that's how stars brightness is. The temperature is how bright it is, but that also needs to be close. So, for example, if you have a, uh, it needs to. Uh, if you want to know the temperature, you have. Uh, you have to know if it's far away or near. That's one thing. And then once you know that, which most likely you won't, because all the stars are pretty far away. Um, the sun would be. Or it, the star would be blue. With dark blue is the highest temperature. Also, another thing is that the sun is not the biggest star. Actually, there is way bigger stars than that. Just way, way, way bigger. So that is how it works. So um. Lebron, Lebron and Trina are talking about our sun and other stars. Trina argues th about that the sun is much larger than all the other stars in the sky. She also explains that most of the, the uh, most of the other stars are about the same size as each other and the same distance from Earth. Lebron disagrees. He explains that the sun looks larger than the other stars because it is closer. He also argues that the other stars vary a great deal in size and distance from Earth. So, um, who is correct? Explain your answer. So, Lebron is correct because Trina, she says that the other stars are about the same size and each and the same distance from Earth, but they're actually not. They're, um, Sun looks larger than the other stars because it is closer, that's one thing. And they also, they have a great, like, they're all in different sizes. And, uh, they're all in different sizes. And distances, and, yeah. So, I hope you. I hope you enjoyed this uh is this video and I'll see you next one. Bye.